Delicate plateless lowered down chimneys on rope do not fold under any circumstances. Letters curled through a narrow slot, rattling, groaning crates brought back to the same address every day for 22 days running. Wow. The windows they pried open, the servants they bribed, the delivery surcharges they paid out of their own salaries just to get rid of one more packet. It is hard to tell which they hate more the senders of the mail or the recipients. Stands to reasons. If the message was a welcome one, they'd tell the other fellow in person. Okay. Let's ask. The hairless post woman at the end of the bar smiles mirthlessly. Or maybe it's just like of eyebrows that does it. Long enough carrying these things around, you get into the habit, she says. Then she tells you that if you stay out late enough, you will see some of the postmen making a procession to the center of the island, stringing up rats around the statue like guiltful de decorations. What? <laughs> In prayer to the ancient deity of this place. Okay. I'm not judging. From the coughing and choking elsewhere in the pub, you'd guess this is third day often told to newcomers. Okay. Let's ask about the big station. Oh, that it's all of us, isn't it? Sort of the spirit of the island. Most of them don't seem troubled far for more of an explanation than that. Though the hairless postwoman tells you it didn't always look like a fallen London postman at all. That it used to have a different face and a more old-fashioned outfit. They changed the outfit and the face of the statue? Damn. Let's ask about the letters. It's the pull, they tell you. Dead letters are like so many iron fillings drawn to Nusha. See for yourself, suggests the hairless postwoman. Go down to the shore, collect a bunch of what's washed there and you'll see it soon enough. Saves time for the rest of us, says another voice. Apparently, beach scavenging is a civic duty hereabouts. Hereabouts. Like working in the dead letter office. Invited to surf. Ten fragments. Okay. Ask to borrow a uniform. Sure. They are polite, even apologetic, about your request. You're welcome here, and welcome to take shifts at the dead leather office. But you cannot wear the uniform unless you were a postal employee back in Fallen London. Regulations. Blunt Thomas lets you have a look at his uniform jacket, at least. Neat stitching, glided buttons, a thin but uh, dignified circle of bright at the collar. Inside a patch that goes over the heart, stitched with six red letters, you can't read it, but it makes your eyes itch and your scalp feel like burning. Let's go back to the docks. Try a shift at dead letter office. Sure. Blunt Thomas takes you around the office, a small collection room where those retrieving letters may state their business. A much larger set of back offices where uh, newly arrived letters and parcels are collected and sorted. A dank, brimely smell that never goes away, presumably because so many of the parcels spent time in the water before they arrived here. That must be a terrible smell. In the back room is a machine, manned, ratted, by a postal rat, a ratus fiber, in a pin-striped hat. It shovels such damp letters into the machine's hopper and they come out dried, cleaned, pressed and sorted into slots by size and quality of paper. Let's convince with the postal rat. Oh, uh, why doesn't it <coughs> why doesn't it make a machine like this one back in London? Might lead to a fewer dead letters in the first place. Oh no no, that wouldn't be permitted at all. There are Wait, this is a rat. Oh, no, no, that wouldn't be permitted at all. There are strict rules about the initial handling and sorting of posts. Is this still a quotation? I don't know. An experimental machine might mangle the letters. It's only dead material that is unimportant enough to be <coughs> entrusted to a rat ratus fiber. His voice isn't bitter, but he twists a call so hard that it springs sideways out of the machine and pings off your shoe. 
ask the postal route for a key to the basement. There are doors in the dead letter office that you have never seen opened. Surely you can be trusted. He's surprised by the request. Most postmen don't like it down there. No one ever asks for a key, but he'll cut you a new one. Just be careful in there and come out if you start to feel wrong. Why? Let's go. You had expected a few shelf of supplies, more flies of letters, a few years older? No. It's a pit, so deep that the lantern slide never goes to the bottom. A spiral walkway descends along its wall, and that spiral wants wider as it goes, as if you were looking through a narrow of end of very large shell. Listening to the walls, uh, lining the walls are shelves and nooks, unevenly sized. Some are a few inches square and contain single scrolls of papyrus. Others support crates bigger than coffins. They are made of wood fungus, grown to met requirements. There are no marks of carpentry on any of the postal rats' handiwork. Three turns down the spire and you feel you can't breathe. Time to leave. You can come back later. Maybe. Wait, what? Let's tell him. They... They say that there have been there since before we came, before there were the Londoners in the Neve, before there was a dead letter office, there was someone else there, and they built the last layer on top of what was there before, and so on. When you press him a little further, he says, I've been down there, didn't like it much, but I didn't want to test my machine. But I wanted to taste my machine, though if it could handle some of the very old dead letters, that would be a good sign, you know? Evidence the machine was in working order, good strong sorting categories, and so forth. He pauses. There is letters down there that uh, set your hair on fire if you so much look as if you so much as look at them, blah blah blah. See the ball patch on my left leg? That wasn't the machine accident. Oh no. That thing dried off as soon as I put my nose into one of them letters. Interesting. With flame and your shift, descend into the basement with mirrors. A tough challenge. I have high mirrors. Let's try it. The descent is long and slow. You count the turns at first, but the time comes when you can't see the square of light from the door above and can't mark how far you have come around the spiral. The illumination you have contrived gets dimmer the further you go, until you come at last to the floor where a base you can barely see. The floor is carpeted with... At first you think it is gravel, but no, it's broken shards of clay and stone, and all scribbled over in words too old to read. At the center of this space is a needle of deep black rock, glossy as raisin, glittering with eyes, inscribed with three arcane sigils that hurt to look at. You feel a meaning a meaning in their presence, a prohibition or a command, commanded man. That all things must come to their... Whoops, I almost made a rat there, I don't know why. That, was cannot, uh, that cannot be delivered immediately, must be saved against a further date. That a message that goes unhearted is a tragedy. That the signal must be carried, no matter how far. No matter through what darkness, no matter whether the sender still lives, nor whether the recipient can even read the language of the writing, the inscription resolves itself and is known to you. No words lost. We've gained five interior. We actually succeeded and we have a searing en enigma. Wow, I have never had it. That's very interesting. We can sit down. No, let's ascend. Let's tell him. No, okay. I don't think it's anything interesting. We know what we saw before, below, so no, we we'll really need to go over it again. <coughs> 
Let's trade our war stories about your ship work. Okay, not much we can do. So let's leave. Can we buy anything? Very overpriced, so let's not. That was very interesting and took a long time, but hell. Searing Enigma, I have never had those. I know there is a port where you can use those, but I think you need more. I'm not quite sure, but oh, this is so interesting. Let's go. Let's run. Oh, Khan's heart. I actually know that this is like us. Oh shit, we took a lot of damage. I know that actually those Khan's quarters are very expansive. Here kicks in the music. But I'm not quite sure uh, what to think about them, so... I don't think I will spend a long time here. Because that probably would mean finding out a lot of things that I'm not quite sure if I want to do it right now. So let's enter a compile a port report and we'll see how it goes. Oh yeah, it's all clear. Khan's heart. London's rival, an oasis of light in the salt black waters, wastes. Canal thread the painted city, street lamps glow and water taxis potter. I don't think we can do this. I'm in the tea house. Hire crew. How much? A lot. Nope. Purchase fuel, purchase supply, I don't know. Buy a storyteller, gather a port report. Let's try to do this. We did it, which is great. We are not... I know that I have been here. I shouldn't go to a storyteller. Let's go to the tea house. How much... Oh, no, let's not. <laughs> It's really not a great place for me. Mostly, I guess, because I'm a Londoner. So let's just go out of here. Let's send a Z button, see if... Yeah, there's Khan Glory to the north, I know. Let's go south. And let's see what awaits us in the corners of the Z. Okay, this place is beautiful. I don't think there is a port here, but still. Oh, this is not very pretty. Interesting. What I love about this game is exactly this. It's so intriguing to see all of those. This is like a spider's place. Damn. I wonder if there is a port here, but I'm not quite sure. Hard to hard to say. I don't think there is one here. But I might be wrong. We'll never know, I guess. Let's try to look some more. This is actually quite a big chunk of map discovered. Oh, there is something there. <gasps> it's a port. Holy shit. The nativity. This is so interesting.
Oh. Recurring nightmare watched. Flee the nightmare. Turn the hand and flee across the mic. Nightmare strength. If it reaches zero, the night will be fled entirely. Let's go. The sea is it. Yes, we succeeded. But we gained terror anyway. No, not good. But at least we are rid of nightmares. That's good, isn't it? Why is that a question? <laughs> oh, this game. Oh, we reached the edge of a map. So let's see what nativity has in store for us. The sound of the of their constant motion is the, like pebbles on a beach. Let's go. Let's not. First, how much? Two supplies for seal? Let's go for it. Holy shit, I think it's expensive. We've lost four what? I thought it said two. Shit. It did. He raped me. Damn it. Doctor, do we need a doctor? Nope. Sorry. I can take you for free. Come on. Come on board. Thanks. Let's go for it, sure. Just drink as conference with a man holding out the box. Shaking it, you hear a lightning and a sudden look for horror. He says nothing though, merely. Okay, there as I know this game there probably can something can happen with this. Okay, the tracers of the nativity have little practice showing appreciation, but at least put in an effort. In particular, they not entirely accidentally let slip the secret of the Accord of Grace, a hospitality granted visitors by the generous neighbors of whom they will speak no ill. They do, however, hint that this only applies to travelers arriving through the port. Those unlucky enough to run around on the rock can consider themselves but no, no, a sort of spider might hear something they would, of course, never say. I mean... Damn it, I had it, I sold it. Man, if I knew, if I only knew. Let's go. And as I have this... Um delivery to make let's actually head like south here and west and try to go back to the london What is that? That's a hand. That's a sea of statues, quite literally. Let's explore. Is there a port? If there is no port like inside, I will be going back because I'm starting to run out of stuff. So there is a port. So we have to. And after this, I'm pretty much going to book it for book it, book it for the London, because I'm starting to run out of supplies and fuel. King Terry's castle. An old voracity leaves her. I'm not quite sure. Ah, oh, voracity escaped my mind. In the far reaches of the sea, the priests are long gone, but sacrifices are still made. Perhaps you will have come to make a sacrifice, because perhaps the sacrifice is you. Lose your mind. Do not do this. 
Oh, this could be such a great ending to this episode. Let's compile a portal port and let's not do that. <laughs> this will expand expand fuels and supplies to lower your terror. Can we make it with sick? I should be able to do it. Eat your crew. What? No. Let's not. This is an interesting place though. No, 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 no. Let's go. It would be too much risk to sacrifice it. Is that a heart? I think that was a heart. Damn, this game is interesting as heck. Let's go. My terror is going up rapidly here. Rapidly. <clears throat> Should I be burning my fuel? Let's full power this shit. <laughs> 